uh, it's 1.15, and I'd like to um, get us um, back on our schedule, and I hope everyone had a chance to have a great lunch and to network a little bit. We had the folks from the Newton board join us for lunch. Can you raise your hand if you're here associated with Newton, please? Um, so look around and um, as you, they're joining us for um, the rest of the week um, on and off Thursday and Friday primarily. And so if you um, have an opportunity to introduce yourself um, to some of these folks, I hope that you will so that you can um, learn a little bit more about where they come from, about what Newton is about. And um, we're all, um, as uh, we have a system level membership in the National University Technology Network, um, SUNY does. And so um, part of their co-convening of their board um, meeting this week, as well as their uh, collaboration on the third day of the summit um, is uh, in part to demonstrate the benefits of membership in Newton for us as a system. And so I'm, I welcome the Newton board to New York and to the summit again. Um, we uh, do this every other year with Newton and I'm very happy to see everybody and to have you here with us um, as a, um, uh, surprise, I guess. Um, we, uh, Newton is um, going to be uh, um, giving an award, and so I'm going to turn it over to Pam Quinn and to Justin Louder uh, to talk a little bit about Newton and to present the uh, 2018 award. Thank you. Good afternoon, and thank you so much for allowing us to um, join your activities and participate as both participants and watching what you are learning. Um, you do so many wonderful things and have contributed so much to the field individually and collectively, so we thank you for that. Um, I'm Pam Quinn. I am provost for the LaCroix Center in the Dallas County Community College District, and I will be introducing uh, Dr. Justin Lauder, who is with Texas Tech University. He is the current chair, and I am the uh, immediate past chair and also the host of Newton. Um, before I get started, though, I just wanted to say that we are also in town celebrating 35 years of the National University Technology Network. But the National University Technology Network started out as the National University Teleconferencing Network. And it was back in 1983 in Kansas City that Newton held its first meeting. And by coincidence, I really was very young at the time. My <laughs> boss in Dallas asked me to go to Kansas City to learn about teleconferencing. And literally, I had no idea how satellite teleconferencing worked. Um, knew about distance learning. I'd been working for our PBS station and, and knew about telecourses, but what about satellite and how are institutions using satellite to teach and learn? So um, we got there and, and the meeting was really hosted and started by Oklahoma State University. They were the founders of Newton. But the founding member of Newton was um, Dr. J.O. Grantham. And J.O., I remember him being in this big hall at the Hyatt in Kansas City explaining how teleconferencing worked. And he used this high-tech thing called a flip chart to explain how <laughs> teleconferencing worked. And he put a flip chart on this side of the room, and he put a flip chart on that side of the room. And on one side, he drew a picture of a satellite uplink. Then he ran across the room going like this as the rays went up to a satellite and then came down and he drew a picture of a farmhouse on the other end and he said this is how we are teaching with satellite. So from an institution up 22,000 miles to a satellite down to farms and homes and other institutions across the nation. And his visuals and also, I mean, he didn't use fancy PowerPoints or anything. He almost really was dancing across um, the stage. But he explained how that worked. And from there, Newton has evolved into an organization um, that is serving all of distance learning. The big game changer, of course, was the internet. There are a lot of different organizations that are in the space of working with teaching and learning. But that is what Newton has 
Don, um, you have also been a member of Newton for a number of years, and we, we appreciate that participation, and we appreciate all that you individually and collectively have contributed to our field. So um, now I would like to introduce Dr. Lauder, who is going to talk about the next phase. Thank you, Dr. Quinn. <clears throat> In 2001, the National University Technology Network, or the Newton Advisory Board, established the Nofflet Williams Service Award in honor of the contributions and memory of Dr. Nofflet Williams, one of the founding members of the Newton Network. Dr. Williams provided service to hundreds of individuals in the area of distance education at the local, regional, and national levels. This award recognizes an individual who exhibits over a substantial period of time and in a consistent manner, the commitment to providing service to those in the field. It signifies the individual is acknowledged to be a contributor, a mentor, a doer, and a leader at the national and international level. Since the central core of Newton is to provide service in the exchange of experience, practice, and theory to all in the organization in a free manner, this award is doubly significant. The Nofflet Williams Service Award is presented on an annual basis by the Newton Board to an individual who is seen as providing an outstanding example of service to the organization and to others in the field of distance education. And I'd ask Dr. Quinn to introduce this year's recipient. Thank you. This is an extremely um, important award because it is selected um, not just from Newton members, but from um, people throughout the country. And it really, the emphasis is on service to the field and service to um, individuals. And um, today's honoree um, works at WCET and organizes national policy and research activities edits WCET's Frontier blog, Frontiers blog and coordinates WCET's research effort and works on the e-learning consortia issues. He's represented the Distance Learning Committee throughout the years on a variety of different organizations um, as a speaker, as research, um, at the federal level, and is continually contributing in um, his knowledge and his ability to communicate with others about what is happening in our field. He's previously coordinated distance education activities for the uh, North Dakota University system. He holds a bachelor's degree from the University of Colorado Denver and a master's from the University of Northern Colorado. Um, our recipient today is Russ Poulin, who is the Director of Policy and Analysis for WDCET. Russ? Congratulations. Thank you. I know the Oscars are on Sunday, and if you're not briefed, that they play you off. Uh, and we, we've come in here. Uh, thank you so much to Newton. Thank you to uh, to to Pam and to Justin for this. And uh, this is a a great honor. And the the one thing I have to say is that in working in in policy issues at the whether it be at the national level or the state level, is that the only way that we make difference is that if we get together and work together, uh, because they. Policymakers respond when a lot of us come together, and they respond when there's a uh, uh, by volume. If we start writing, if we start making a difference, and so uh, I get to speak to you on Friday. We'll talk about some things that maybe you like, maybe you don't like so much. Uh, but one of those is I hope that out of that, that will uh, get you to start working and start figuring out how you individually and getting your campuses together to start. How can we make things better? How can we make a difference? And thank you for this award. Thank you.